Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about luxury, vintage, fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider subscribing by hitting the button below. All right, so in this installment of the Handbag 101 series, I'm gonna be talking all about authentication of your handbags. So in the first one, we talked about buying a handbag, and now in this one, we're gonna be talking about authenticating. Now, authenticating can be a two-part process. So you can get bags authenticated before you make a purchase and after you make a purchase. So first, let's talk about authenticating a bag before you make a purchase. So I have a couple tips for this. First of all, um, real authentication, that's who I usually use to authenticate my items because that's who eBay trusts the most as far as getting your money back if there's any issues um, and they can provide all sorts of certificates or anything you would need. It's super easy, it's all done online. You don't have to send your bag in, you just send in photos. But something unique that they offer is that you can actually get something authenticated like a listing on eBay before you make a purchase. So if you go on their site, you can go and see, um, there's a section that you can send in a link and actually get a bag authenticated before. So just for peace of mind before buying, you can do that. Now, even if you do that, I would say you'd still probably want to get authenticated once you receive it, because say you receive a different bag than the one that was in the picture, then, you know, it, it's not in your possession. You never know as far as buying online, what you actually receive in person, but it is nice especially if you're gonna buy a, something very expensive that you have peace of mind before you buy it. Now, another option to authenticate before purchasing is um, the purse forum. So it's part of um, purse blog. They have their own purse forum and on there is a, an amazing resource for you guys. Um, they have all different brands and within them, you can kind of see in the different threads there will be authentication threads. So within those, you have to follow their guidelines and rules as far as posting or asking for authentication, but you can actually list like a listing and ask someone to help authenticate. So these people that are helping, I don't know if they're actually considered true authenticators or just someone who has a really, really good eye for authenticating a fake or a real bag but you can ask on there their opinion on if they think it's you know a real bag or a fake bag and you can usually get an answer on there. So that's also a great way of getting your item authenticated or having some sort of peace of mind before making a purchase. Now, some sites actually have authentication done before they've sold the bag. So say like the Real World and Fashion File, they have in-house authenticators that authenticate a bag before they sell it. So you can somewhat trust that, that it's gone through at least some sort of process to be authenticated before um, being sold. So in those cases, I would say you don't necessarily have to try to authenticate ones on those sites until you receive it. And then you can do a secondary authentication if you want. So again, through real authentication, it's super easy. You send in a couple photos of what they ask. They tell you exactly what to send. And it's like maybe $20, I think. And I actually have um, a discount code for like $5 off your first one. So you can use that. And super easy and quick, usually comes back within a day. And then you can just have peace of mind with that. So that would be authenticating after the fact. And then some of the smaller sites that I use, so like Bagaholics and Luxoretto, um, again, all the places I use and trust, all the sellers that I trust, I will be linking down in the description box for you guys and any promo codes I have. But a lot of times with these smaller ones, they will also go through um, an authentication before they sell it and they will actually give you the authentication paperwork. Um, so you have that before you even purchase the bag and then that gets sent with the bag and then you know you have all the paperwork with you and a pro of getting something authenticated is say you want to resell it down the line it's always good to have proof that your item is authentic because usually you can get more money for it down the road whether you're selling to a consignment shop or if you're trying to sell it on ebay um, having paperwork from a like authorized authenticator 
is really good to have as far as increasing the value of your item. And as far as authenticating, that's pretty much it. I'd say, you know, try to stay away from things that seem to be too good to be true. Sellers that seem a little bit sketchy, sellers without um, a lot of selling history, um, random things like on Poshmark. I know sometimes when you're looking for something and you really want this to be the one and it just seems like, oh my gosh, here it is and it's an amazing deal and I might as well try. Honestly, it's a lot of work. Even if you find something to be inauthentic and you follow the correct steps to try to get your money back as far as like with PayPal and this and that, it can still be a pain in the butt to try to get your money back when you have something inauthentic. So I would say that's why I usually just stick to places that I know and trust because it's just not worth the headache down the line um, to get something that's inauthentic. So I would rather feel really good about my purchase even before I purchase and then, you know, get it authenticated just in case and to have that um, then to be ripped off and then have to go through all the problems of that. So that's my biggest tip and takeaway from authenticating your bags. So those are my tips on authenticating handbags. So if you have any other questions, please leave it down below. I will be sure to respond. And if you could, I would really appreciate if you like this video to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Until my next one, bye.